What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to talk about the capabilities of ChatGPT. So it is very important for you to know and understand things that ChatGPT are capable of so you can utilize this AI tool to its fullest extent and see how far you can potentially go with ChatGPT. So uh, there are four things. The first one is contextual awareness. So ChatGPT has the capability to maintain contextual awareness within a conversation uh, referencing past prompts or messages so if you go to chat gpt and you've you opened a new chat here as you guys can see um there are three main capabilities listed here the first one is remember what users say earlier in the conversation so that's exactly the same with uh contextual awareness so every single time you have conversations with chat gpt um actually you, you can refer to things that you've already said earlier in the past and ChatGPT has the ability to recall that, right? So let's say you want to recall something that you've already said uh, previously, feel free to do it. ChatGPT is able to do it. And the second one is creative langu language generation. So ChatGPT exhibits creativity in generating language and can produce novel and diverse responses. It can go beyond more factual information and provide imaginative or nuanced answer. If you don't believe me, let's try it out. Generate me generate me fictional story about um, old empire right so just an example uh, I don't want the story to be very long so I'm just going to add short here short fictional story about old empire as you guys can see um, you can prove how creative ChatGPT can potentially be Right? Especially if you have like the right prompt, you would be amazed knowing how creative ChatGPT uh, can potentially be. Look at these guys. All of these are fictional, right? So yeah, um, that's the second one. The third one here, um, ChatGPT allows user to provide follow-up corrections. So let's say when you're having conversations with ChatGPT, sometimes um the output generated by chat gpt is not relevant to the topic or maybe it's taken out of the context so sometimes you want to make the corrections letting the chat gpt know hey actually um what i meant by this statement is this right or maybe you want to take the conversations uh directions back to the original point right so it's not taken out of context so yeah chat gpt is able to um receive that feedback and then make corrections all right and then fourth one here is coherent responses so chat gpt can generate coherent and contextually relevant responses providing meaningful answers and engaging in conversational interactions that make sense to the user all right so let's go back to the new chat here let's talk about the second capabilities listed here so chat gpt allows user to provide follow-up corrections which is the same like this and the third one here, um, ChatGPT is trained to decline inappropriate requests. So for example, if you are um, typing a prompt that is against ChatGPT uh, policy or terms and conditions, for example, um, you know, anything related to like violence or NSFW, right? Then most likely your prompt is going to be rejected and your request is not going to be processed right because your prompt um, doesn't align or doesn't comply with chat gpt um, terms and conditions so yeah um so those are capabilities of chat gpt guys uh in the next video we're going to talk about limitations of chat gpt so i'll see you guys there bye what's up guys welcome back to the course in this video we're going to talk about limitations of chat gpt right so as you guys know uh chat gpt is actually pretty new ai technology it was released in 2022 so it has been around five six or maybe seven months i forget like the exact date when chat gpt was released to the public but i'm pretty sure um it was like less than a year ago so um definitely chat gpt is pretty new so definitely chat gpt is not perfect there are still rooms for improvement so yeah we're going to talk about limitations of chat gpt that you need to be aware of so you can set your expectations clear right and let's talk about the first one here potential biases so chat gpt can in 
advertently generate biased or inappropriately responses due to bias present in its training data. It may reflect societal biases or produce responses that are offensive, harmful, and political bias. Um, to be honest with you, when it comes to like this uh, particular issue, potential biases, there is not much that we could do with that. Um, think about this. ChatGPT has a large pre-trained data set. And if we're talking about pre-trained data set, like the more data sets you have, the better it is going to be, right? But also at the same time, you need to realize that um, the larger the data set is, um, the more bias it will potentially cause to, right? So um, that's just like the consequences that we all need to accept, right? That's uh, the first one. Let's talk about the second one here, limited knowledge of worlds and events after 2021. Uh, to be more specific, after September 2021. So the model training data only includes information up until that time. ChatGPT is trained on large data sets, but its knowledge is based on information available prior to 2021. So if you go to ChatGPT and you open up uh, the new chat here, um, they also list like three main limitations. So as you guys can see here, limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. So all events occurred after 2021 might still be recorded in the pre-trained data set. However, um, you cannot expect ChatGPT to have very detailed information about those events after 2021, right? So just keep that in mind. All right, let's talk about the next one here, overconfidence responses. All right, so let's do the slideshow. So I'm just gonna click on slideshow. So ChatGPT may sometimes generate responses with a high level of confidence, even when the information provided is incorrect or inaccurate. So sometimes this can be quite challenging, especially people who rely completely on ChatGPT as their main source of information. Uh, I don't think it's very wise uh, thing to do. You still need to do recheck to make sure um, the information is given, the information presented by ChatGPT is uh, factually correct, right? So yeah, um, sometimes the overconfidence tone um, make us convince that whatever information given is um, correct, although in some cases it can be um, incorrect too, right? Or maybe not relevant to the context. So yeah, make sure that you do some extra checks. And the last one here, sensitivity to input phrasing. So ChatGPT is highly sensitive to the phrasing and wording of prompts. So even like small changes in input can lead to significantly different uh, responses. And uh, it can make um, a little bit challenging to predict and control the model's behavior consistently. All right, so that's the challenge that we need to tackle. That's the problem that we need to overcome. And that's the reason why I always believe that prompt engineering is all about uh, designing prompt that is not only effective, but also customizable. Meaning that even you make like some uh, modifications, the output is still going to reflect to the original uh, purpose, right? So yeah, I um, think those are limitations of ChatGPT that you need to be aware of. Uh, I think that's it. That's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to talk about how to create a active chat GPT prompt. So yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.